Today is the feast of San Gennaro, or St. Januarius, a bishop who was martyred around the year 300 and who's the patron saint of Naples. Not much is known about his life, but he's famous for a miracle that occurs a few times every year in Naples, the liquefaction of a relic of his blood contained in a glass tube. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I have to admit that I often wonder why a miracle like this occurs. And it is a miracle. According to one author, few, if any, alleged miracles have been examined more carefully, more often, or by people of more divergent views than this one. And no expert, however much an unbeliever in miracles, denies that what is said to take place does, in fact, take place. What takes place is that the dark substance becomes a liquid on certain days of the year, and that no variations in temperature or other natural reasons can explain it. So, if this is indeed a miracle, why would God do this? Maybe it's to show that miracles do indeed happen, and to challenge our scientific age to be more humble and accept the fact that not everything can be explained by natural causes. That there may be supernatural causes at work in the world. This is certainly our belief as Christians. We don't believe that God created the world like a great clockmaker who, after making his instrument, then set it on a shelf to tick away by itself. We believe that God can and does intervene in the world. That's what the Bible is really all about. That God hasn't ignored us and is indeed at work in the world. So, whether you believe that what happens to the relic is miraculous or not, believe in an even greater miracle, that God loved us enough to become one of us and even die for us.